Margaret Conley spoke to one of the inventors. Take a look. It's the latest in Shanzai or knockoff culture, turning a media player iPod into a phone. Two brothers from China have cracked the code, creating the Yoshion Apple Peel 520. The older brother, 25 year old Pan Lei, demonstrates how to assemble their low cost invention. In a circuit board case, insert a SIM card, battery, and iPod, install the software, and then dial up your friends. This is Pan Lei's first television interview, and he asked us not to show his face. He is quick to clarify this is not counterfeit. We're also very creative, not just getting a Nokia phone and copy, getting Apple and copy, or a Samsung phone to copy as well. It shouldn't be like that, and not just like that. We're also capable of coming up with something original. Like I said, it's a really great idea. If you take it further and you add um, data connectivity to it, then it really becomes interesting. But for now, it's still, it's still pretty new. For many, it will come down to cost. Essentially, an extra $75 to turn an iPod Touch into an iPhone 4. Yoshian and Go Solar USA say they have a deal to bring the device to the United States, but it is not yet available on the street, which raises the question of if intellectual property issues are involved. Apple, known to fiercely protect its patents, would not comment, and the brothers have not been approached by the company. Yeah, I think it uh, the product does set a precedent. Um, it, 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 and I hope that other people take this idea and run with it. Paving the way for Shanghai to take off around the world. Margaret Conley, Bloomberg News, Hong Kong.